Color Radio. We are back. Uh, we don't take time off. We just upgrade and get grind on. Boss. Yeah. Super boss. <laughs> we are here. King Mall in the building. Hey, that's me. S. Dot the best engineer in the game. Hello, S. Dot Carter. We are in our new studio. New, I guess, um, set up. But not really. I don't know this, if this is gonna be the real setup for how long we. But we have sample got in the building. It was goody. It was goody. We're we're doing a um, we game the night location. Fucking lights off. <laughs> 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 Fucking lights off. We're at a new location. We're gonna be talking about our uh, top five or top five of the decades. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna get through it because we have been into the libations of water. And smoke signaling. <laughs> water. <laughs> he turns his cold water into hot, hot ta. Molly. Inside joke. <laughs> Let's get started, people. <clears throat> we have just been talking about uh, what albums of the decade, projects of the decade. Right. <laughs> um, Moments of the decade. At this point, right now, of how I'm feeling, mm-hmm. I'm a. I'm going to stand by my number one being Trinidad James. And this being it. What category are we in right now? Hey, look, look, wait, wait, wait. Albums of the decade? Albums of the decade for most influential. Okay. His his moment, that dropping, even from, he dropped it on, I, I, I remember finding it. And you want to know who 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 had it first? I'm going to give him his props on, on playing it first. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? Fucking Gary. G- Gutty Mac, he posted it. He was like, this mm-hmm. nigga hard. I was like, all right, this nigga look weird. But I looked at the cover, Chanel suit. Did he have a the Chanel, Chanel suit? Chanel suit on. Well, he was a stylist. He worked in a shoe store, but he just got fresh. That was about it. But he was living his truth. He was living his truth like a motherfucker. Sh- Chanel suit, no shirt on. Gold the, teeth. Gold teeth. Gold everything. But even from the intro and the skits. Top to bottom, no skips in that song. And yeah, that's a good project. And so, and even the the acronym. There was only one song that I didn't like. That was just for me at the time. I just didn't play it all the time. But you're right. Like, but the, about the whole album. But was him, dope as fuck. <laughs> but but that video at that point in time, because he's saying this to on the No Jumper podcast, and what made me think about damn, like how much info he really had at that point in time. Niggas wasn't. That flamboyant. He was a real character, and they thought it was a show. They thought he was trolling. They thought he was trolling. Like this can't be real. Is this a real person? Is he was dead ass. He was super dead ass. So fast forward to the, the little pumps, the the um to the little pumps and 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 and, and, and what's the nigga name? The Chicago nigga. It's the famous Dex, where they're super like animated in their character, but you don't really know their music. It's like the ludicrous, active lyrics type shit. Mm, mm. Like they're more so. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I just lost my train of thought. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's my one. I'm gonna start with Trinidad James for uh, my. Start off of album of the decade. That's how I'm gonna kick it off with a wild card. I'm now, confused. Was it decade or or decade influence? I mean, well, cause like I'm not gonna say he's the decade? best best album. Okay. Like like he spin his ass off something. What are but your top five of the decade? The influential in, in, in my list for that reason, he's going up there. Starting off at one, he might go down if I think about it more so. But I'm starting off there because I didn't do enough preparation for this show. <laughs> but it's gonna be a good show anyway. I forgot what you got. So you're ready. So like, yeah, I'm gonna pick it back off of you anyway. Um, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. It started off with a bang. Yeah. To, the the decade started off as best as I ever heard it. Mm. To to that point, like, I was so thirsty to get my hands on this album. A week and a half early, I went to Kent. 
I drove all the way to Kent. Yes. And I finessed someone at the CD game exchange to She's sell so me yes. the deluxe version of this Please. album a week and a half Please early you, sir. <laughs> before Please. it came out. And this is before, like 2010. This is before right you can really go get some shit yeah, on the leak. You some you shit. you can get a leak maybe a day day and a half before some yeah. shit yeah, drops. Yeah, that is true. Though. Remember when how much leaks were fun? Like it leaked. Yeah. Fucked up a Lupe album. Man. Fucked up a Cameron album. Man. Damn, Lupe has some some times. The in, first in the, the first version of Food and Liquor is the best version. I have two <laughs> different versions of Food and Liquor. Oh, I have damn. the album version that came out and the one that got scrapped. What wow. hurt me soul and it's like it's up the the version of that one song without Jay Z on it is better than the one with Jay Z on it. See now I gotta hear that. I ain't, I don't think I've ever heard that. Like that Purple version. Haze, it's two different versions of Purple Haze. I've heard that before. That well, is true. Well, I heard of yeah. that before. I'm so happy Purple Haze we too is the, about to drop. Oh, we put the cars down. Cool it on. <laughs> it was on you. I won. Okay. Oh you yeah. Did well then. <laughs> Break them up again, son. Scrap them. Cut them. But I'm going with. <clears throat> no, Beautiful Dark, Dark Twisted Fantasy is a great one. Like, that did set off a lot. And, and again, it started with the Good Fridays. And and that just. And it was just it. upper taste, taste level on. Start with the cover. Yeah, the cover and, was hard. And how you had to. Mo- it, it was. You bought if it. That was the last time I bought some, and it f- physically felt like this music was an art piece. Mm. Yes, yes. He put time. Okay, playing devil's advocate. Fast forwarding. Not even thinking about the, all the uh, the Trump shit. All that blah blah. Him, him and gospel. Him having writers. Does that take away something? It. It took away a lot when you when you when you find out Santa Claus ain't real. <laughs> Cause to be a true Kanye fan, you have to know that. And you and you look back, we going back to the first album. Now how long? All the way, right? all the way back yeah, to the yeah, first from, album from the start. From the start. From the start. Rhyme yeah. Fest. Yeah, like well, he it, was a producer. He said he couldn't. I'm, but like they said he couldn't be a, a GLC. The that's some consequence. Shit, his his placement in hip hop, I yeah. feel like is it, very. He learned from one of the best wave riders of all time. Who are you talking about? Jay-Z. Ooh. I mean. Jay-Z always stood next to that person that was hot. Or tried to at one point. He yeah. either signed yeah. those people or stood yeah. next or to those people exactly. when they had moments. With the dip set thing, I can see what you're saying. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Drake. Was that all East Coast though? Drake, here's how they go he come at you. Yeah, yeah. Look, no, look at that Drake verse. A... Look at that verse now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that reference too. Look at that yeah, verse yeah. now versus. And he wouldn't have given this Drake a feature then. When when you really become the competition. Yeah, you 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 do not doing that. You're not doing that at all. But. <coughs> What my thought was on Kanye having ra- uh, uh, writers is writers. It's not just writers; it's producers. He ain't, he ain't made a beat by himself since Otis was the last real beat he made by himself. See, everything is everything is co everything is co production. Do we place co higher because he produces? I don't think we do. I don't put him higher because I didn't like a co project until he didn't produce it. KOD was the first album I liked, and he didn't make all the beats on it, so I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, but it's real. I see, and and I can't say I'm a Cole fan. I I appreciate his music a lot, but I'm not like a stan or anything. I I mainly like the story that he tells. You know, you're so relatable. Like you're I relate like more to yeah. J Cole than any more. Like, yeah. We both graduated from college. Yeah, he's a yeah yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, he, he makes dorm out. room rap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, they say he make folding clothes music was the uh, t- two albums ago. No, nah, he used to make oh, go to sleep Who music it to me. Who is it? Is it me? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't fucking with homie at all. <laughs> <But> <laughs> like I, I just loved it. I, I loved him rapping. Mm-hmm. 
it was just all your beats are the same BPMs. Mm. He, all your tempos are the same thing, and you're doing it all. So I'm yeah, only getting you across. Yeah, I didn't think comfortable with it too. Cole was going to last. I thought that he would be stuck in that in that era. Like I didn't think he'll make it past the uh, that album, the album that he had missed the Nice Watch on. Mm. I thought, oh yeah, he gonna get one album that he gonna drop. This is it. Mr. Nice Watch was not the. <laughs> that wasn't the uh, collab you me? was looking for. Mm-hmm. That's not the J verse I want. No, nah. mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I if, don't. If you gonna get a J verse, like, please, <laughs> please, l- be it like how Drake does it. Drake gets a a, a solid verse. Like, he gets one like he puts his pants up on that verse. Is it me? Yes, Damn it, y'all are moving fast, bro. <laughs> I yeah. was talking to Prada today. He asked me a question. Cool. Should yeah, should Drake be considered the Migos OG because of Versace? Yes. Yes. I mean, because if it wasn't for that, they wouldn't have blew as hard, as heavy. So I mean, yes. how much of Drake's influence over rap in general should the rap gang give Drake? Like this decade, for, well, for somebody that's been running it since it since started. It, yeah, like mm. and. Sh- 2009 till to now, it's been Drake. And we can say he carried it into being the number one genre. Yeah, but, period. But, but you got, like, three other people in that, though, because you got Party Next Door, Weekend, and Quentin Miller. Like, as his writers? As his writers, too. I mean, Right yeah. along with that. So you got four different people. Well, you got... if. Back and back to hush, Kanye. If you, if you look at if you look at Kanye records, I can tell you which artist was writing on those albums and influenced those albums to go those certain ways. It really including Drake on some Drake on some of those people are really the, the influence. So they do have those parallels. So I can understand mm-hmm. why Drake is you the pot calling the kettle black yeah. to Kanye like. You you over here you asking me, me for re- to write <laughs> records, bro? What are you talking you about? You taught me to code. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like with Ye, you got eight ways of heartbreaks. That's Cuddy. Yep. And it's so dope. But yep. It, 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 I mean, and, and, I'm sorry. And <laughs> I'm <high>. Niggas got <laughs> niggas got to really Green. understand that Cuddy changed the sound and direction of music. A nigga from Cleveland did that. Mm. But I don't again, And they don't uh, acknowledge him here at all. I don't get it. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame shit at some point probably, but it's no, one of those things no, that, where that's too underground because they they're what's not the gonna, color? They're not, green. They're not gonna recognize that. Really. It, is it maybe something he did b- behind the scenes in oh, the rock did, star stage? Well, no, he 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 did do some some kind of things behind the scenes when he was in that feud with good music. Okay. There we go. So, I feel like some set him back in a a way, and uh, blue. Still on you. <laughs> Damn. He called hit you with that sauce. Right. Okay. How I come with? Ooh. Sorry, we playing Uno, people. If y'all didn't know, they probably didn't. They can't see us. <laughs> well, if they look at the video. Well, if you're watching the video, is it on me? You know, is it on me? Oh uh, yeah, get them, man. Get them. Um, Damn it. Red. Damn. That's nigga, man. Red you red had red. a good hand. Yeah. You had a good hand, sir. Blue. Yeah, that sauce. Uh, Mom, <clears throat> what are you thinking about for your? ASAP, long live Ooh, okay. ASAP. Good pick. That shit changed everything. That I didn't realize that was 2011, that, first off. Uh, changed the game for life as well and brought in the whole trip away, even though it only lasted two I'll years. Be that pretty motherfucker. Uh, Ooh, gold gold teeth and white bitches, man. <laughs> it's, it's just certain shit that you see culturally yep. uh-huh. when they don't match. It's just golden. Yeah, <laughs> it stands out like a little, a little blue eyed white chick, gold teeth, corn rolls. You do that, <laughs> yeah. That, with yeah, a fat that. ass, it's like what? But now, okay. Would you say that he's a bust? 
No. No, he ch- he went to a completely different lane. To my eyes, he he went. He's completely a fa- he's fashion. a fashion icon. Yup. Who rap? Are you? Did you win? Yeah. Oh. Why are we still? Oh, I, don't know. <laughs> I, was, I thought we were playing through. I'm like, I'm like, he don't got no, you know, no cars in his head. <laughs> I'm like, he, he's up. <laughs> I ain't hear no Uno. I hear no. I don't know nothing. <laughs> when you hear, when you listen to this over, you go like this motherfucker. <laughs> but um, is I'm, I'm looking at it now, and how much I enjoyed his. His moment at the top, quote unquote, or, or his moment with, with the light. Mm-hmm. He 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 introduced a lot of like the he helped bring fashion shit. He, he introduced a lot of he introduced me to schoolboy. He's not the Beyonce of the group. Can, can can you? He's not the it's Beyonce. It's Ferd. It's Ferd, yeah. and we didn't know it. And we didn't. I knew it from the beginning because Ferd yeah. had the more impactful records from Ferd the start. Made hits. Yeah. Ferd made hits. I got Ferd was on the radio. On. Hey. Ferg is in the club. Yeah, Ferg made hits. Ferg is on the tours. Ferg has a, a a longer history in Harlem and connected from his father. His father made the Bad Boy logo, and, and he made like, clothes, and, and he made clothes and shit. Mm, that's so, why he goes shout out to Harlem the fashion shit. That's shout out to Harlem. So I, like, I, I consider Cleveland to be the Harlem of Ohio. I've heard that before. That makes sense. I've heard that before. A little bit of Gotham in there. L- Gotham, yeah, they call it Gotham City too, though. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham in that bitch. But um, also without that, you wouldn't have TDE because half the reason why that came in as a smooth transition, Schoolboy Q. And here's a no bias side of me: I must throw Kendrick in there. Kendrick, Good Kid, Mad City. Yup. So that's, your uh, that's on my list as well. Because it's not on mine. It's Ooh, not. It's not on yours. It's not. Changed no. my life as well, man. I'm a sucker for a good concept album. And and what I have ever good said good that I was left, right, right. at any point. Cut right, deal left, or cut left, deal right? I don't even know, but we rocking out right now. <laughs> At any point in time, I have never called myself a Kendrick fan. Even in the moment y'all got hip to him, when, when uh, shout out to Rico... Uh, yeah, but but you know what that moment, I'm glad I stuck with it because it was it was very hard for me to to go through that album. I was like, no, it's not the same. He only had Section like two eighty, songs. Yeah. yeah. He had like two songs, the whole album. But went all we we there. heard rigor mortis very high. Mm-hmm. Rigor mortis, that's what it was, and that's the song that stuck. And that's the song that he got sued for. Oh really? They took all the rigor mortis, man. That sample, he didn't clear it. Mm. That is, hey, if if, if, if that's you don't so- get if you don't got to if you just getting two tracks you like clearing samples, I learned that that's one thing in the music business I've learned if you can't get the five things it's not clearing samples. Mm. They'll mm. take the they'll take the risk. Yeah, yeah. Did you anybody juice world me? Yeah. <laughs> See, ninety five percent thing was like, yeah, I will take that. Thank you. But, but if it gets you on, oh, is it worth it? The, uh, is it worth it though? Like, Lucid Dreams, push, yeah, ninety five percent sample gone. Is it worth it to if it gets if it gets your booking price to fifty k? That's what I'm saying. It's worth it. But the, <laughs> but how much is that royalty? If that if that song really really lasts that long? Is it, if it's a forever song? If you die, that for mm. like well, Sting's getting ninety five percent of whatever. Jesus, is going Sting. On. Sting's already rich, rich. Shit. Sting's rich, rich already. Clear the samples. And that's Sting all you print as a as a as a as a older cat in a in the music industry. That's all you. You pray went for. first. I didn't even go. Oh, oh okay. I guess it's oh, you on good. me because you know. No. You know I don't know. Is it on me video. first? You dealt. You dealt who first? I dealt. You first. Okay, it's on me, bro. Shit, yeah, you know, that's on me, you bro. Know, right to it, you know. And skip me. That's all I got. Mm-hmm. Ain't all I got, but that's what I got. Yeah, I'll skip my ass. So it's your turn. We skipping skip, motherfuckers. Skip, skip, skip. Skipping ass niggas out here. Uh, let me get this good video. Skip, on, video. skip to my loo. I want to say Sad Panda Apparel so bad because I said it like for like 100 straight episodes. I got to say my second best album is the best mixed album I've ever heard in my life. Travis Scott Rodeo. I'm with you on that. I am. It's the best mix, like it's yeah. technically the it's best mix album. album I've ever heard. Song to song, eight oh eight depth, 
chords, the strings, amazing. vocals, yeah. ad libs, yeah. left, right, yeah. panning, yeah, things in the front, things in the back. That was right before the birds and the, uh, the uh, what was it? Some Sing Me Night. Yes. That's the one before. The transitions between yeah. the songs, 90210. Yeah. Maria, I'm drunk that they Hell. finally let on streaming services now because of Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's Justin Bieber and Young Thug on a fucking song. Yeah, yeah. No one plays that. <sighs> that's a great... F- it's so much... And that's 2000... Piss on my grave, yeah. Kanye, Schoolboy Q... So, I um, I have a love hate relationship with with Travis Scott though. Is it me? Mm-hmm. With Travis because I love the influence. Absolutely love the influence. The oh. nigga selling Reese's cereal, Bruh. and he got a for twenty five dollars a box. Oh, that- Cause it come with the tennis. Sh- no, no, no. It come. It come crazy. It don't so. come with nothing. No, it ain't like a big box, and it come like in the glass, some shit like that. That's my favorite song in the album. I'm gonna put it in the background while we talk over it. It's something special no, about this drunk. damn thing. It come with like a toy or some shit. Every time I get to L.A., I play that. This nigga uh, sound funny. I bro. play that when I get off the fucking plane. Oh it's, there's a lot of projects that I'm gonna probably. For Maria. I'm gonna forget about. Mm. But I'm never gonna forget about this. Is it me? Um, yes. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep saying this, people. If y'all listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't keep up and talk. He was in his bag with this. He was definitely in his bag with this. Mike Dean. People, what people don't understand is they're not a Kanye fan. They're a Mike Dean fan. There we go. Hmm. There, all the good shit seems like he's behind it, and then. When he's not involved, you can see when he's not involved. From a, because I trust your ear. From an ear and musical standpoint, is is he really that good? Is Mike Dean? Yeah. Or do he need? Do, do, do you know all the Ghetto Boy shit he did? No. I I must go back to the Ghetto Boy stuff. Uh, I know because I've, I've heard all, his, all of his rap name a lot, so long. all of it. He did. Really? A lot of Pimp C shit. He did. A lot of uh, Scarface shit. Uh, Eyes or um Eyes playing tricks on me? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He has classic hip hop records from the South. Period. So that's why he has all the respect. I didn't know this. People need to know that. Because he's just a name that people say his catalog. It's crazy. You you scroll podcasts for different artists to go to. It's enough. Models to get booking deals with. It's not enough venues. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, and it's not enough free opportunities. Mm. Mm. But what we have to understand is, is really not free. If I go to Atlanta and I do showcases, I can charge a twenty-five to fifty-dollar booking fee, and twenty-five dollars a song to perform. Jesus. That's a good money. That's on a Tuesday. That's good money. Hmm. That's good money. You get fifty artists out on a regular basis. How do we get that here? Like, what are we missing? Ownership of all of the venues that we go to is all white, and they only deal with hip hop because it brings in money. Mm. Any black owned establishments get fucked with by the police. Yeah. Downtown in the suburbs, it don't matter. Yeah. If you listen, if you fucking with this type of music, you bring this type of crowd, y'all serve alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. It's, nah. it's guns coming, is what they're saying. We need a speakeasy. We need something. We need a place where you can go get this music off. Yeah. And that performance feels safe going to, and people feel safe going to. Right. That's by the. But like a private club membership work, you think? Like a members only club? Yeah, like if you want to like really get your shit off, a monthly fee, 
obviously it'd be some type of the, the discount or liquor or whatever for free liquor, but getting in there and seeing the music, getting the vibe, and not having to worry about anything. You think that would work here? Like-minded people. And the members only cut because people do the 35 and ups and 40 and ups. That's what I'm saying. Why can't we do, you fuck with this music, you do these type of things. And you want to be safe and, and, and there's a, a, a somewhat of a background check. You're not paying this X amount of dollars to get in here to fuck it up. But how limited are y'all about to be with this? I mean, with this idea I mean, because, like, how would you paying for it in general is going? I'm talking yeah, about numbers. Wise. Out a, a like, like, are you going to try to keep it to a limited amount of numbers? I mean, you don't want to be uncomfortable. No. Nah. Facts. But it's but it's, it's got to be some for you to produce your music too. So gotta, yeah, I mean, so I'm assuming a, now a, a you want to select in certain people. A, a platform so. to do a lot of things. Like like there's. Like just from us having on the cam girl, um, well the the and stripper that episode was <laughs> bananas, bro. You are wild. Bruh. Look, man, she got new titties now, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they fell down. We apparently. need to go to the club too, bro, because she's back out there getting it. And shout out to Shay Mar- Mariah. I respect the new set. Um, <laughs> really like the bar at the Swingers God, Club, funny, you bring man. your own shit. That's what I'm saying. That's where my idea came from. Like, if you you don't need no license to do it, it's, it's private. Do what you want. <laughs> but then you're also still liable as some. You know I mean, if somebody drinks this half of this bottle and they get in the car and yo, the, <laughs> drive home, you are still liable, even though you didn't. Yeah. Cause it was at your establishment. Yeah. Just like I think I have some sleep, house. some sleep it off rooms. It's alcoholics. Some sleep it off rooms. It's alcoholics, <laughs> man. It's just alcoholics that like to drink, so they come up and get fucked up. Uh, 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 a honorable mention to uh, Action Bronx and Party Supply, Blue Chips too. Action Bronx in, in this. I went to decade. that show. Did you? At the oh, house did you? Of that uh, that mixtape alone was dope, fifteen dollars. Yeah, man. Action was buy one get one free. Stop oh it, man. shit! They were sleep on action. Very early. Nigga, you could. Very that's sleep on that's the first time I, I I've ever seen the uh, House of Blues that empty during a show. Damn, that's dope. And on the bottom, not the top. Yeah, this is on the bottom. Like yeah, you what? you you could somersault comfortably. Comfortably, oh my goodness. Ooh, uh, 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 one I didn't like in this decade. It was uh, that empty. Mac Miller's watching movies with the sound off. That did not hit me the way people Feminine Divine is his best project to me. Is it? I haven't I haven't You said Feminine Divine? It's something about it's like it's the like death take, soul singer him. Yeah. And he did it all. Like he produced it all. It's it's amazing. He's, music. Yeah, he's one of those ones where I was like, Jesus. He played he can pick up an instrument, start to learn to play it. He wants to be a producer. He produces. He wants to be a jazz singer. He, he sings jazz. He wants to uh, delusional Thomas. Ah, uh, honorable mention to delusional Thomas. It, it's a Mac Miller mixtape where he basically takes on a sadistic character on a I future type wave of okay. killing and shooting up, and he he distorts his voice to a high pitched version. And it's amazing. It's mm. like it's so fucking scary and dope and dark and shit like that. It's probably my favorite Mac Miller album. When did Best Day ever come out? Ooh, that's like oh <laughs> eight. Don't feel like this don't. is Rostrum Records. No, I ain't live no mixtapes. Cause oh nine is when he first dropped his very first. Uh, so I his think album came out like 2010. No, but I ain't seen 2010, so it had to be like. Nah, nah he's somewhere. He 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 got to be somewhere. And uh, get home safe. He came out too. I don't, I don't know if I like that. Get home. It's so many. It's just so many Don projects I fuck with that when he was dropping bad music, <laughs> it really discouraged me. It don't make like any how do you sense, how though. do you come from the West Side with love he, to. He, so, some shit where you take off Self- a bar and a half and not rhyme. His and- self title was trash. Like, how your self title trash? <laughs> how your self title trash? 
I thought he was. I'm coming. so glad he got with Hit Boy and got back on the shit, man. man Hit Boy no Quentin sense. Miller. That half a mil shit is so fucking. Hit Boy dope. Quentin Miller oh, really? and Dom Kennedy should you do a group. You, you ain't nah, dumb, you ain't nah, diving nah, to half a nah, mil nah, shit. Nah, 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 yeah. he sleep, oh, he sleep. you were wild, and they got like yeah. four or five tapes. Yeah, and an album. Yeah, it's dope. And all of that shit hard. Hit Boy, that's Hit Boy is underrated. Producer rapper, yeah. I love it. His first project, the HS eighty. Five, 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 whatever, four. I liked Audio Push at one point. I don't know what happened to the traction with them. Probably hit again. Sign into an artist that's or a producer, a producer, and they want to be an artist. It's hard. It's hard. It's super hard. It's super hard. And I haven't seen it work. The, the, the best example is Wayne, and Wayne took a step back. Like and look at his star. So or because. Wayne wouldn't write that shit either. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gilly? Is he talking yeah, about yeah, Gilly? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, it Gilly? This nigga Gilly Carter and his. Tuski. Is that what he's saying? He didn't write or he did write? That's the one they're saying. He he did write. A you lot. Said, oh, you, you can see two? the transition yeah. between the Carter 1 and the Carter 2. Oh, yeah, the Carter 1 sounds. See, I went back. You got to go back. I went back. That sounds completely different. I just remember telling my, my people like I don't even fuck with the first one. When like when I first started getting into Wayne, I was yeah. like I don't like. But the he was spent on the first one. Like real, real life, he was spent on the first one. I had the Carter two maybe four or five days before it came out on some leak shit. Mm. I put that shit on my PSP. I got on the RTA. Somebody robbed me at gunpoint for my PSP. And they had the Carter two early on that bitch. That was hype. I was like, this nigga had. I had just got through the mob. That's okay. how short my bus ride was. I can't believe they got you, bro. Like, <laughs> I you, just. Because you was probably geeked on the bus. I just <laughs> got through the. Just imagine the only song you heard on the Carter 2 was the mob, and then you got robbed. That that song is different to me. I got robbed on Mayfield Road, broad daylight. In broad daylight. Bro- Mayfield I and Noble. I thought she was coming home at night. No, this is Mayfield I, I, I and Noble car. right there in front of the BP. I know exactly what you're talking about. I got about. robbed right there at that bus stop. That's crazy. That, so I've where does never... Carter 2 fall for you then? <laughs> <Carter>. <laughs> I just knew that shit was way too gangster for me to be listening to at that point, bro. Jesus. But my my number four, I, I think it's the best TDE project that they've put out to me, like as a whole. And it's Absol Control System. Wow. Really? To me, it's the best project that they put out during that time. Um it in in terms of like the the albums for me, it goes control system to pimp a butterfly. You bro. Habits and contradictions. That's just whack. Oxymoron is a fucking I instant like, classic, I like, bro. I like Oxymoron, but I like Habits and Contradictions more. But you gotta think about the growth. You don't like like yeah, that's like, like seeing all, yeah, all three a, of them did come at the same time, but no, I still seeing can't do a it. superstar just say, No what move. I got this. And like, he wasn't supposed to be. He's supposed to be Ferg for real. He's supposed to have some hits school, right? and then fall. Yeah, he's supposed to fall back. He put together quality projects, and when when he we was the most, he from, was the most com- he was the most commercial of the three. I don't know but Absol put together the best project between it's section all, yes. between yes. section eighty, yes. between control system, between habits of contradiction. Yes. Control system was it's, the, it's best the best album. The best, yes. Was the best album of those three, and then the best production, all the Lori Joe shit, the verses. Well, yeah. Me at that age, is, is, the book, is the book of soul. Me at that age. Banks loves that, and Banks is a lyricist. Book type. of soul. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he goes hands crazy. down. Book of soul. I give you that one. Yes. And Ab Soul's allure. What was Black Envy on? Was that on Control System? The end part of it? Hold I on. feel yeah, it's the last song on one yeah. of his albums. I think I think I think he got the black hippie track. I'm pretty sure. Or it was Schoolboy. Was it Kendrick? Somebody got the but black I'm pretty sure it was Absol. It is at the very I'm end sure and it's on one of these. They got he has it. It's after Book of Soul. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, yeah. All right. No, yeah, you Empathy. Yeah. Yeah, you Rebellion. Right. Okay. Sopa, mixed emotions, double standards, like terrorist oh. threats, Bohemian Grove. 
but here's my defense t- to that. Early he was supposed Janae to be Aiko? the one. He was supposed to be the one to take off after Kendrick. He said early. He was supposed to be the one. And he and he had an album to drop. He's so the one with him on the cross. He's so awkward. He, 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 he can't do it. Can't do it. Well, did, no, Nick got some fucked up shit with his eyes. Like I, I mean, yeah, I mean, but that was his allure. I was gonna say the allure of the yeah, eyes, the the, forgot, the, yeah. the girlfriend, and all, all that. Allure Joe Pat. Yeah, like, Allure is all over this. Her vocals are all through this. So I, it. Yeah, that it, was the. It's a special. It's a special shit. That was my. And fourth. it was the, one of the only albums I really wanted to hear behind a paywall. At that time, everything else was dropping his mixtapes. I can get it leaked or something like that. that. It was behind the paywall. They had to go I, get I it. I want to throw two honorable mentions out there. Throwing an honorable mention out there to uh, Mellow Hype Numbers. I saw that, yeah. Ooh, Shout yeah. out to Mellow Hype. Bitch was going. And Damo Genesis, uh, I forgot the name. Rolling Papers? Uh, I didn't get hit the Damo for a minute. It took me a minute to get it the Damo. The Alchemist. Oh, no the Idols. And the Alchemist, No Idols. Those two albums at the same time is uh, well. Donald Jones probably got like three songs on there. That I'm fucking with for real, but uh, definitely numbers. <laughs> Mellow hype. That shit was going. Damn, control system is a big, is a big one, bro. It's a big one. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going with um, Hendrix for future. Really? I really fuck with it. Really? I really, really. Fuck Over Dirty Sprite too. <sighs> That's a big moment. March Madness is. I'm uh, saying I, I think that, you're living that's, it. That's a church song, and that's gospel. That's gospel music. Dirty Sprite Two. March Madness. The prequel is to the anthem song. Okay, but the album is not for me. The mixtape is not for me. It's, but that is that song. Yes, it's the but background. Dirty Sprite Two. You are. I hate you. Take. I'm about to take you. <laughs> to I moment. didn't even think about Dirty it, Sprite it, if Two. If I'm right, I hate you. He went on the run, and then it led up to. Dirty Sprite, Sprite too. So that mm-hmm. means beast mode. Mm-hmm. Fucking uh, beast monster. Mode goes monster. Too, so like he's dropping the, like the crazy shit is I missed the whole beast mode monster shit. I went back and listened to that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, going, he did yeah, all of this back. shit back to back to yeah, back. And then he back. starts it off. I was in the car. When we listened to it. Yes, he, I know. He starts it off with I'm getting the Goosey flip flops, and that's still niggas the Goosey the Goosey stock. <laughs> Tell me what the Goosey stock. One up, for. yeah. Do you know he doesn't do those records that way? What you mean? That's all pieced together by Esco, oh, the, Esco, Esco oh, and, Metro. and Metro. Yep. So oh. that part of the song is in the middle of the verse, actually. That Good original producer. verse takes. Good so they'll take like he don't he don't know how his songs come out because he just does multiple freestyle takes and mm. they just piece together the verse for him. And find I'm the hooks. I always wonder on oh, half this shit though, like how? Because half of it's like it is the most. Like, and once I figured that shit out, I'm like, like, yo, that's crazy. This is bananas. That's that's but that's but, raw. That's, you gotta think about his rhyme pattern and shit like, like that. Like the shit, the to the freestyle yeah. that shit and f- to link it for verses. You may take two bars from here, four bars from here. A eight from here. That's time too. Yeah, that's a pause and drum breaks. But that, that's just you knowing that your yo your artist is just a rock star only. That's fucked up. Just knowing he's a rock star only who knows how to catch those. Uh, words. Honorable mention to Rick Ross or the whole decade. Um, yeah. Black market for Rick Ross. If he didn't go through the, the seizures and he. He could, he was going through the seizure shit. That's when he had the seizure on the plane. Mm. He could not promote that album the way he needed to. My favorite Ross album, my song is on that album. My the smile shit Did with that? uh, CeeLo Green. Uh, I'm not <sighs> mm-hmm. Did that come out after he did the mixtape, the Black Mitzvah? Is that the one with the uh, with the purple and the colored he, face? He, he got the star, the, the the Jewish, the star of David around him. Oh, wow. With, the, with like, like a, a fur coat on That's crazy. It's very problematic oh, now. <laughs> but, it, but but then it was like Black Mist, but you know I'm doing well, my... Oh, shit. Didn't uh, old girl just put out a, a special called Black Mist, Who? Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 she ready. That's <laughs> 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 fucked up. That's, That's so fucked up. That's how she... Tiffany Haddish. Yes. Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. Uh, also, an honorable mention, the Space Ghost Perp. 
um, that that train engine that and trip. scream sound and beats that you took from the 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 thirty six mafia and showed me again. Thank you, mm-hmm. because I was not aware and that shit. <sighs> Taylor Alderdice. Let me just talk about Taylor Alderdice really quickly. If that was his album, in any form or fashion. I think Wiz will be at a higher status in hip hop right now. It would be like he did it. He has a classic. He, well, he has a, a, another classic outside of Cutting Orange Juice, and it's an album. Mm-hmm. You, the classic is the combination of records from Cutting Orange Juice, uh-huh. from Taylor Alderdice, yeah. and from Rolling Papers, the songs that you could actually stomach. The shits towards the end of the fucking tape. What, like, what about Flight School? I mean, flight, uh, Him with auto yo, gets a little. The first time I actually let Mrs. Right for now play all the way through, because I will always skip it because at the beginning of the song, the first time I let this shit play all the way through, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah. "Oh my god!" Yeah, yo, Wiz is Wiz is yeah. underrated. Wiz yeah, might be the so most. My my honorable mention had Cushion Orange Juice, Taylor All the Dice, for album of a decade. But my my fifth. I want a decade, bro. Covert Coop Currency. Yeah, yeah. From beginning to end, it's it's twenty. It's like twenty five, twenty six minutes, but it is the most concise. Yeah. Twenty five, twenty six minutes of music I have ever heard. Currency in this, in in this Alchemy, generation. They, I'm I'm mad that the second project didn't live up to the first project, but you can't. Those beats. I'm gonna listen to that drive. Freddie Freddie Gibbs versus Scott, uh, Scotty Pippen. I slept like, on f- <sighs> Freddie Gibbs up until the last like and, year and a half. And currency floated all over these beats. The production was amazing, mm-hmm. and it was a moment. Who's like, currency who, gave you moments? Who's a better rapper, he did, currency yeah. or Wiz? Currency. Currency. Yeah. Do we? Who makes wh- better songs? Wiz. Yeah. Currency is definitely a better rapper. No, he always does. Ten G's. I haven't heard anything harder than, than Ten G's. Oh, Mary, Mary. <laughs> like, like, like. My, my favorite, my favorite currency verse. Like, if you told me to rap a currency verse uh, or, or get shot in the head, yeah. is sixteen switches part two. Come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, man. I Kickback showed me that, bro. That that. Like, I love Wiz. I really do. Mm. Lately, his raps haven't hit me the same. Now, I don't know if that's growth. Clear the runway, baby. I get money from Sunday to Sunday, Sunday lady. OB. Yeah. Like, Even, that shit? That shit. Out. Yeah, it's that a, shit it's classic, a, yeah. It's a feeling. It's a feeling to it. Even his, his weed raps aren't even the same. When he just started smoking KK only... KK is up there with every time I've gotten KK, oh, it's, good. it's It's ama- good. It's good. It's 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 so light. Front, like it's mm-hmm. so this light. part of your face, <laughs> like that whole shit right there, you feel it here. Mm. I know that. But currency, man, currency is is, is what is what you sm- like. Okay. And then currency, this he just wrote out two projects at the end of the year. And he's about to drop uh, uh, back uh, at Bernie's on December twentieth. And he's dropping a podcast with Smoke Dizzle. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he saw a drink chaps, he was like, "Oh shit, I didn't know what a podcast was. Y'all in here just drinking and chilling. I could do this with my niggas at the at the house, like." How? Niggas do this anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying exactly other what I'm saying. other honorable mentions: Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon, two. That was that dropped the same night Call of Duty Modern Warfare dropped. Did it? And I was in line for the Kid Cudi album and not Modern Warfare. So we were the like only a real people, nigga. We were the only niggas in Akron to go get that. We skipped the whole line for Modern Warfare and went and bought that album and then listened to that. So I fuck with that. Jay Z four four four. Uh um it's the f- no ID like put his Foot in that fucking production of that album. The samples are amazing. I like introspective grown Jay Z. 
I, I just need I need to know what I need to be. I'm I'm I just turned yeah. thirty. I need to know what yeah. I need to be aspiring to. Yes. Yeah. Be in the wealth. next couple years. Generational wealth yeah. at that. He's that he's that music that you go back. It's like all right now I'm now I'm at this. Hip hop's right finally aging. Now. Let's let, let's give it up for hip hop aging and being and aging well. Yeah. yeah. And and Amron's about to drop this in a couple weeks. Marble Haze too. When the old heads can still drop shit. That's I mean, and be the. I want them to be themselves. I don't. I don't want them chasing sounds. I want you to be you. Well, I mean, we was just listening to Fab. Like Fab is. Fab was in his other. The Choosy record was a. He's but a he's, reach. He's trying to keep but up though. Like he, he he's six months late on the on the Afro beat wave. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. But it's gonna travel overseas though. Right, it's, it's so he'll, he'll he'll eat over there. Here's a hot take though: mm-hmm. Fab is the mellow of hip hop. Wow, he can put up points. What he hasn't been put out of the but. league. He's he's still on his original Nef Jam deal. The is niggas niggas still like still his league? outfits more than what he do. How do you live real? that long off of one deal? What that's the last that's song? That's a great deal. No, he because got. because he sells like like Fab has a core. But what's the the last song we like was popping from Fab? Like because like I remember the uh, like the uh, he catches a he catches a radio record every two two three years. He was trying with the choosy joint. That wasn't it. This back on my bullshit though.